Ooh, look at that side of the river. Otherwise, it's just uh, definitely not the right way. God be with you, good sir. Whose house is this? It's our local custodians. <laughs> The most esteemed Sir Sebastian, Baron von Berg. You don't seem to think very much of him. But of course I do. A man with a nose so stuck up that it acts as a rain funnel can't be all bad. What does the custodian do anyway? Well, he's meant to look after the local community and keep the peace. But? But in fact he seems more interested in robbing everyone blind. I'm much obliged. <laughs> Don't mention it. You look bored. Beyond tears. How can you be bored here in Sasau, in such a holy place filled with knowledge? Don't even talk to me about it. They won't let you touch the books. They don't want to talk to you. And when I wanted to look at the remains of St. Procopius, at least, they ran me off. Me, like some kind of thief. What good is the whole blasted monastery if I can't even do that? Well, they say there's not much left of poor Procropius. What's that got to do with anything? I'm not blaming you. It's just that only monks have access to the reliquary in the crypt. Folk were even taking relics away from St. Procopius' cave for protection before. Now no one's allowed in there. I know. But I'd never dream of doing that. I just wanted to touch them for luck. Maybe I could help you. How? You're not planning some mischief, are you? No, not at all. I was going to bring you something from the cave under the monastery where he spent his time. You can get in there, you could touch it for luck, and then I'd return it. Well, now. Hmm. You'd do that for me? Of course. Then I'll be very grateful to you. Sounds like some questionable behavior. Can I go in there or... Hello? Yes, come on through. Yes, you do you. Cool, I don't get immediately thrown out for walking in here. Good to know. You're not him either. Uh, that's a hard block pick. Do 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 do. Can I go upstairs? Looks like it. Ooh, I know all those books already though, so... You are you got lucky this time, world. Hi! I'm honored that you should come to me. I'm helping at the infirmary now, and I came to our... Ah, and how is Johanka? Do you know her well? Y yes, I do. Good, good. Does she ever talk about me? Sometimes. A little. That's good. Excellent. Johanka means a lot to me. I'm mainly here for supplies and to talk about the state of the wounded from Scalitz. They need blankets, food... Well, that's not my problem. Let the infirmarius take care of it. His hands are tied. Until the abbot comes back, he can't get anything. And why should that interest me? Maybe because of your hanker. Hmm. What precisely are you getting at? She has a kind heart. Everyone can see how deeply she cares about the wounded. If you help her selflessly, it'll win her over. She's bound to be impressed. Maybe you're right. It will cost me something, but I'll discuss it with Nicodemus. I should be able to help in some way. She might not be pleased with that. Or maybe she'll think it'll it's worth it. He's insufferable, but also like, hey, get, everyone gets helped out, right? That's what they were hoping for. Ooh, those ones are new. Nobody's around here, right? 
Never leave me unattended with books. Quickly, to the horse. Nobody can see. <laughs> Ooh, that's just money. Neat. I'm a bad person. But he's a prick, so I'm not that concerned in particular. More so than normal, honestly. I don't want to do lockpicking because I feel like I'll just get caught trying to do lockpicking. Wow, look at this freaking bed. I don't get the point. I don't get. I guess it. it pro, I think those help with like insects or something. Must be the point. I feel like it'd be really claustrophobic being enclosed like that in my bed. But in warmer climates, the insect. It's probably. It's probably the functionally like an insect net basically to keep them off of you. Or so I imagine. We've already read this one. He also has this book. Interesting. Hmm. Currently level 10. Ooh, we got a main level perk. Ooh. Yeah, going all in first aid was really helpful. I got the ability to use bandages, which I haven't honestly really used, but then first aid 2 let me use the healing dialogues, which have actually, has actually come up. Oh, right, there's a lot of options, huh? First aid 3. Bandages are 50% more effective. For a village boy, you're quite, you're quite the sawbones. The perk opens the most advanced options of dialogues connected with healing. Ooh. Local hero. If your reputation is high in an area, you get a plus one bonus to strength, speed, agility, and vitality there. At the same time, though, your reputation falls much faster than usual, and the penalties for jail time last longer. Or the opposite. Hmm. So if people like you enough... You'll get... That's interesting. So if people like you enough, you'll get bonus stats on top of other ways that you also get bonus stats. In particular, that would mean a plus two to strength, sp speech, agility, and vitality when I'm in town and they like me. Because I already get a bonus just for being in town in general. Which is kind of a big deal. Hmm. My speech stat, stat could get so high at that point. This is just the opposite, right? Plus one when you have low reputation. I'm probably going to try to avoid that if I can. Your momentary reading skills increased by three, but your strength and warfare each have incurred a minus one penalty. These are all the ones we saw before. You're handsome and charismatic. And you get these traits how often again? You can select a perk every second level. Pretty great. So I'll be able to pick another one in two levels. What's the requirement for these ones? Minimum level six. Oh, it's scout two. That's not relevant for now. Ah, uh, so at level 12, I'll be able to pick another perk. But the only one left is contemplative. As long as your man still your tiredness and hunger will stay at the same level. Don't care about that. A standing skill power? I'm not very interested in that. Uh... I mean, it might be a little interesting. I think that means that waiting won't use your resources. But there's other stuff that's cooler, I think. Let's go for first aid three. I'll get local hero, I think, soon. But I'm in the middle of a whole first aid thing, so having maximum first aid options would be nice, I think. Let's go all in on that and specialize in that a bit. Might even have already been relevant for reasons I didn't know yet. Mule two... That might be the thing to get, because I'm running out of, uh... My armor's getting heavy. 10% greater chance of knocking somebody out with a blow to the head. Let's go Mule 2. I think I was waiting for something for agility. Yeah, I was interested in the later skills. Green King, is that the only one right now? Yep. We're getting ourselves a bit of progress, aren't we? Always save. Never... Hey, ah! Ah! Oh wow, he loves me too! Everyone loves me. I'm so popular. 
Who knew how life, how easy life could be when you're just really popular all the time? You even have spare beds in here. I wonder if I can get him to take any of the patients in. Probably not. He's probably a shitty person. If I were to take a guess. Excuse me, I want to check your thing to see if there's a book inside of it. The answer is yes. Hope you didn't need those cobwebs. Bye! They'll never know. They'll never catch me. Was I very briefly in a private area for a second there? What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh. What? what the hell are you doing? I'm trying to leave. Apparently this is a private area now, but you only now. Careful. What time is it? Oh, maybe it's because it, maybe it just got late enough. That it suddenly became a problem that I was there. <laughs> now I kind of... It's the wrong... It's up here... I should probably double check with each of them to see if I can progress, cause, uh... No, shit. Ah. Uh, here? I might be able to take care of some of the patients now just cause of my increased skill that I didn't have a moment ago. We'll see. Mm. Oh, that's you. I see you look much better. No, I feel much better. Then I heard it was all down to you. Thank you. If you ever need to know about anything that's going on in Sasau, come and see me. There's nothing much happens here without my knowledge. Thomas is my name. We go and make ourselves a friend? Well, if I want to be here amongst the patients, there's plenty of places to sleep, apparently. How you doing? Oh, it's you. May the Lord watch over I just wanted to see if I had new dialogue, but I don't think I can confirm that yet. I, just, I, I don't know if my new skill affected anything yet, so I just got to check around. Tell me more about this. All right, that's all I... All right. Well, do you tell me about the situation? Uh, no, you. Save your schnapps. Shit. Henry, ah! I'm glad you came. Why are you yelling in my ear? Do you know anything about herbs? I'm not an expert, but I know a little something. Is it urgent? Well, one of the workers who was injured during construction would like to get back to work. He mentioned some purple flowers that would... Herbs. Oh, purple herbs that should help. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but you can have a look in the herbarium here. There won't be too many purple herbs for bruises and sprains. How about some potion to induce heavy sleep? Certainly. The old reliable. Reliable? Some of the brothers like a good sleep. And sometimes, that's the only way to get one. I'll show you how. Thanks. Can I get the right thing here? Wait, how many of the plants can I get from you, even? Oh, the Alchemist Dream 2. Rank 5. Well, I like skill books, so why not? This might not be the most responsible usage of my t of my money. But it might be everything I need for the quest. I'm kind of curious about that. The cobwebs in my inventory, really? I should probably get rid of that before I get accused of selling of stealing a cobweb and get in trouble. Treasure map six. 
that's treasure map four. That is different. Everything everything's pretty cheap, right? It's just it's primarily the the book and the map. Let's haggle though. Let's have a word about the price. Hmm. Alright, so Finally a reasonable sum. I wanna see if the whole quest is just completed now. I just find like that I feel like that'd be really amusing if he had all the things the whole time. Making it really silly that he needed me to grab stuff. Let's see. Do I have everything everything? I have everything. He had everything the whole time. He's like, I need you to get all these things so that I can make the herbarium. And he had them the whole time. He had every single one. That's silly. Oh well. Let's read a book. Cause I need, I need to destroy a book. Can I use this yet? Alchemy rank 5. Do I have rank 5 alchemy? That's different from herbalism, isn't it? But I don't think I have it. I have rank 1 alchemy. So I can't use that yet, but we'll put that away for now. And see, I don't need I don't need to read a book actually, because he, he probably has some random yeah. Kingdom of Bo Bohemia, we'll do that one. Make sure that's the only book in my inventory. Valerian. Oh, Ledechko has two maps, has two treasure maps related to it, apparently. Get that out of my inventory before I get in trouble. Alright, uh... I think I have everything you need. I've got those herbs you wanted. Let me see if you have everything. Excellent, you have all the plants. I'll take those from you. And what of the book? Did you remember to bring it? I certainly did. Here it is. You can use the treasure map and the heretic's testimony. Huh. Thank you for everything. I'll set someone the task of scraping away the old ink and making the herbarium. It was my pleasure. Hey, herbalism keeps going up. If only I could get my alchemy to go up. Training? Alchemy? Would you teach me more about alchemy? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Gonna cost me a bit less, it will. Since it's you. Come now, just a little more and... Agreed. You've improved your alchemy. Congratulations. Alright. You said to read the herbarium. You're not an herbarium. Uh, you're not an herbarium. Welcome, Henry. Are you the herbarium? Just look for a purple plant. All that's in here is Savior Schnapps and Lullaby. The one that helps you sleep. Hmm. Do not drink it often, though. It may dull your wits. Let's see. Whoever cannot lull themselves or, uh, or needs to make wounded livestock, life, livestock sleep, let them brew this and they shall have peace. Do not drink it often, though, or it may dull your wits. For a crying child, use only half the dose. Prepare oil, a handful of poppy, one of thistle, one of herb paris. Drop the poppy in the cauldron and boil for one turn. Add the thistle and boil for one turn. Leave to cool and then add the herb paris. Might be hard. The degree of difficulty of brewing its uh, of the brewing itself varies with each recipe and requires a variable number of steps. The first step is always to pour the potion base, which you will find on the shelf to your left. Which uh, then you add the ingredients to the cauldron from the shelf on the right. 
If the recipe demands it, you must take care to grind ingredients using mortar and pestle. You can use the dish next to the mortar and pestle to prepare the ingredients. The next step is to brew the mixture on the prescribed flame, which is a which is regulated by the means of the bellows. Sometimes it's enough to just warm it on a low heat. Sometimes it has to be boiled. So you have to work the bellows until the mixture bubbles. You must be careful how uh, carefully, you must carefully time how long you brew the potion using the sand glass. The brewed potion can then be poured directly into the cauldron, into the file, or passed through the, the distiller. The, res the recipe steps must be adhered to precisely. If you deviate too much from them, the potion will fail, you'll lose all your ingredients, and the whole brewing process will have to be repeated. So the turns is you flipping over the, the hourglass. Ingredients are on the left, are on the right, oils on the left, mortar and pestles there. So the oil is the is oleum, the triangle. A handful of poppy, one of thistle, one of pears. It doesn't say to to grind them. So start with the oil, drop in the poppy, boil for one turn, add thistle and boil for one turn. Leave to cool, and then add the herb. Poppy, thistle, herb. Which ones do I have? Poppy. Thistle. Yeah, I got plenty of those from all the picking I've had to do. I've got nettle. I don't have the herb. You. Thank you. Give ourselves a little save as I try to figure this one out. Alright. Oleum, poppy, thistle, herb. How are you, Henry? This should be interesting. Oleum. Quest started is a friend indeed. What the fuck? Oh, something's going on with them. So first drop the poppy and then you then you boil. How do I drop the poppy in? Inventory? Poppy. Okay, you have to put them on. Thistle herb. That's better. So drop in the poppy. Got it. There's the oh, that looks weird. Uh, where's the bellows? A oh, bellows is left trigger. Wait. Get it to bubble. Are you pulling on something? Oh, is that how it works? Well, it's not bubbling. It's bubbling. All right, do the sand glass. One turn. Okay. So now thistle. Bring it back to boil. It's not boiling. There's the boil. Okay. Good. Flip the sand glass. Keep it bubbling, it's kind of dying down. Good. 
Next up is to add the herb after I let it cool. How do I let it cool? Do I just wait? Game keeps saving. Or has that prompt been on there for a while now? Is it doing that again? I'm letting it cool. Can I turn the fire off? Oh, there it goes. Okay. Add the herb. Hopefully this kind of worked. <laughs> I think that's it. So better or for worse, it hopefully worked out. Auto brew was an option, I think. Huh. Still. File. This will complete the potion. Yes. That looks bizarre. Huh. Did I do it? You brewed a lullaby potion. Boom. Look at me being a badass. That's neat. Kind of confusing, but neat. I've got something for you. Really? Drink this, and you'll fall straight to sleep. Oh, thank you! What am I looking at right now? Oh, the game crashed. Oh, I, I accomplished something. Then it started showing the uh, like a still frame of someone's back, and then the game crashed. All right, I am back. Good thing I saved right before starting it. Wish I had saved right after I did the potion too, but uh, didn't know that was gonna crash like that. So we're back. Rebrewed the potion from scratch. Let's give oh, him man. his beautiful, oh. beautiful potion. Dear Mistress Johanka, I come again in admiration of your selfless dedication. I would like to invite you to a fine banquet at my palace. <laughs> You certainly have earned some... What business have you here, fellow? Who let you in? What? I'm taking care of the wounded, as I'm sure you're aware. Ah. Well then, run along and take care of them, and let me talk to Johanka. You are not needed here. Run along. This is the room where all the wounded are. This is the actual... Are you stupid? You might be stupid. Anyway... How about having the banquet here? Yeah, what a great idea! Bring all your food! Wouldn't it be better to have the banquet here, Custodian? What? If you won't give the sick anything else, can you at least hold the banquet here? Nobody's going to talk to me that way! Lock him up for the night and let him learn some manners! Wow. Wow. A whole day. That was a severe failure. I was tied. I'm like, oh, maybe this will work. And then it was like, fuck off. Holy crap. That was, oh, it's a long day in jail. It didn't start counting down until later, didn't it? Oh, I did. Did I even say anything that bad? I was like, why don't you have the- you can have the banquet here. You know, food for the- the sick. That was like a severe reaction, I felt like. Huh. How's my clothes? Are my clothes fine at least? They're all like near 100%, okay. But now I've got stat reduction. Released prisoner. Your stay in jail left you malnourished, and in an overall weak condition, your strength, agility, and stuff are, are lower. The, lo the longer you've been in jail, the worse the penalties. So until that wears off, I'm gonna have reduced stats, which is not great. Damn. Hey. Well, I'm leaving jail. Let me let me go, man. They say I'm malnourished. I'm actually. Doing fine on my nourishment stat. 
funnily enough. It's doing close enough to normal. Where am I right now? What an asshole. <laughs> I was just trying to take care of the sick. And dude just shows up and throws me in jail. Oh, I'm like far away. Because that's where the jail is. Right. That's why I couldn't get my bearings. I'm in a completely different chunk of the area. Well, that wasn't very nice. But, you know, back to my duties, which aren't really my duties. I've just decided to be helpful. But, uh, I didn't nail it at convincing that dude. So then I got, oh, is that puke or something? What is that? I didn't nail my convincing option, so he uh, threw me away. Good health to you. I don't even. What what happened when I was gone? That custodian Sebastian is really obnoxious. He can be unpleasant, but in his own way, I don't know. You can't be serious. What's that supposed to mean? At least he was here, unlike you, the whole time. And anyway. Mind your own business. What? I've been kicking some serious ass at this whole thing. And he just threw me in jail for, like, shitty reasons. When I was in the middle of helping people. Remember this guy that got helped? What's going on now? You didn't get any brew? The brew's gone. You could have saved some. I know, but I didn't. Can you get me more? Ugh. <sighs> This is the last time. God damn it. All right, it's fine. Oh, it's you. Um, right, the purple plant. I don't even know what's going on with that one yet. We'll get to that when I get the chance. There's a lot going on here. This is a, this is neat. It's not quite triage, but it's like somewhat comparable. Just dealing with a huge number of patients in the game is a neat idea. Nicodemus. They just sleep there next to the blood. Huh. So can I auto-brew now? Is that what that option was? I don't really want to do the whole process every single time, necessarily. You need a higher level to unlock that functionality. Ah. Do I need to sleep? At the moment, I think I'm out of materials. Uh... Now my energy's fine. My st I'm generally doing fine. Lots of apples, sure. You have the plant I need, though. You can't trade, can you? Right, I still need to bring game to add to the pile. Hmm. Healing herbs, game, help around, help the insomniac sleep, find Father Simon. There is a lot going on here. Oh, Father Simon's in Rovna, right. That's the burned bodies destroyed city that was next to Scalitz. Huh. This one's going to keep us busy for a while. You waking up? How are the wounded from Scalitz? Some of them are well taken care of, but others... Others are dying here, needlessly. It's a good thing we have Johanka here. I'd never be able to manage on my own. What do you think about the custodian? Baron von Berg? Well, he does his job well. He keeps us safe here. And the last time I saw him was when I was rubbing ointment on his rash. I heard he's been here a lot lately. Well, that's true. He comes to visit Johanka. But he's never here long and he always leaves... unsatisfied. So you don't normally treat the wounded then? Well, there were accidents, of course. A broken leg, someone who'd been kicked by a cow or bitten by a goat. But this... I've never dealt with the carnage of battle before. If only it had been a battle. 
This was cold-blooded slaughter. You were there? God be merciful to you and the dead and the wounded. How can I help you? Have you talked to Johanka? I did. Well, if you know something about it, then go and take a look. However, you don't look like you've studied the Hippocratic arts. That's true. I'm the son of a blacksmith. But I have been around the wounded before. What do I do if I'm not sure of the treatment? Come and speak to me. We'll see what we can do. Thank you. I think I need him to get dressed. I can't buy the herb from him until he's in like the proper state or something. There it is. He goes, that's where his chest is, I guess. I think he also then has to go back to his desk. Interesting. He's not a merchant until he stands in the right spot. Oh, cabbage. I'll take all of it. Why not? It costs like nothing. And back to it then. Alright. Get it up right to the correct page just in case I lose track. I think I've got the recipe down at this point though. God be with you, Henry. Poppy. Is this thistle or nettle? Thistle. Gotta be careful I don't make a mistake and, assumption and assume something at the wrong time. Poppy. Now I've done it twice because of the part where the game crashed. So, hopefully I've got this figured out. Throw to a boil. Give us a turn. Thistle. For one turn. Yep, there's the turn. Throw in the thistle. Keep the heat going. Need to turn it. Or Paris. It just has to last long enough for that. Yep, there we go. That's the turn of that. Now we wait. Now we wait. Your hand's really close to that flame. That's incredibly unsafe. What's wrong with you? Move. Don't put your hand there. All right, the fire's going out. Plop that in there. And you grab a vial. And go for it. Alright, here's hoping I don't get attacked and thrown in jail this time. That'd be nice. <laughs> oh, the, for all the things I've done, I've killed so many people and stolen so many things, but the two reasons I've been in jail so far are fascinating, aren't they? Do I have all my money still at least? Or do they take that? 3.1k. I'm doing all right there. Greetings, Rude. Henry. Mmm. Yes, please. I've got something for you. Really? Here you go. And save some of it. I don't want to hear you ranting again tomorrow. Well, thank you. I've done it. He should be good to go now. There's so many things to take care of. I like that it's an overwhelming number of objectives going on around here, because that's what it's got to feel like to deal with just this mess. This is a good quest, generally. 